Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Paper Mario and the Origami King. In the last one, we finished off with the everything in the Diamond Island, including the Ice Elemental Boss, and we also did all the Courage... No. Mmm. Now. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Paper Mario and the Origami King. In the last one, we finished up everything on the Diamond Island, including the Ice Elemental Boss, and we also finished off with the um, Trials of Courage, Power, and Strength, I believe. Or no, Wisdom. Oops. But other than that, we did go inside the Sea Tower for very for a very, very short second. And we saw there was another dungeon back-to-back. -back. So I guess that the um, statue name for the Shangri-La uh, Toad Statue, Spa, Spa Toad Statue, that it was named after that. So I guess that might not even be a thing in this. Seriously, what is that? What is the timing on that? Okay, um, give me a second. This one goes in like this. Wait, let me look at this. Which one doesn't go in all the way? The middle one. Okay, so I'm going to say probably sit on the middle one for a second is what I'm going to go with. Is this one coming out? There we go. Okay, one, two. Okay, let me sit here for a second and figure out the timing here. That one goes in, that one comes out, this one goes out, this one goes out, this one goes out. Wait, wait, wait. Oop, there we go. Okay, so you had to go left. Okay, I didn't understand that. So what's going on with this place? Oh no, what happened to the Earth Elemental's face? It's split in two for some reason. They must have, that must have hurt. And the water elemental only has one eye. Or maybe it was, it's winking down at us. It's also mysterious. Huh. Okay. Strange. Also, I'm noticing that these enemies are, wait, why did my hammer not go off? Okay, that's strange. I literally used my hammer there, but. Oh, okay then. Strange. Well, I'm just going to run for it, because that shouldn't have happened, honestly. Unless the game doesn't want me to. Well, looks like we're fighting. Okay, group shell shots. Let's see here. Time it. There we go. Why is there enemies from the very first dungeon here? Because these guys aren't weak or, like, strong at all. So this is a little weird. Well, I can tell the exact pattern for this one. So that one goes there. This one goes forward. And... I guess we just boot them, because boots literally should one-shot these guys. One, two, three, four. Easy. Now just for the other line. Okay, well, I don't know why I didn't hit them with the hammer, because I swear I did, but... Weird. Very, very strange, but I guess I'll go with it. Hmm. Okay, well, easy, I guess. Well, what's going on here? Because that's what we really need to figure out. This one has some kind of gem in its mouth. I'm not sure how to get it. Although we did get a shiny tail just now. That's good. Let's see. Do we just go forward? I'm just making sure for sure before we do anything. There is a small pathway we can go into. So we might check that out. Was there one on the right side? Just wondering. No, just a fire statue. Strange. What's a sidestepper? Oh, hello. Okay, so he stole the red jewel out of that. Okay, got it. So I'm guessing we need to find the other, find the blue um, side stepper, and then put the jewel inside the other one's mouth. That would make sense. Sorry if I'm kind of not understanding what's going on yet, because honestly, I'm unsure what we're doing here. Because I didn't expect to go right straight into a dungeon again. Because we literally just did a dungeon, so. I didn't expect it back-to-back, -back, kinda like the other area. So let's see here, so... Let's see, that's not moving. We got another Koopa Troopa, so let's be careful and not fight him. If we don't have to. Be careful, smack him across the face. Okay, this is moving, so it means we go up. This is missing, so it needs some more. Will it move further up now? Yes it will, okay. Wait for the timing, go through. Wait for the timing, because I have a feeling I was going to get pushed off anyways. Okay. Easy. Ooh, these move. Okay, so hit both of these. Jump over. Shoot. 
Well, I'm jumping down because I'd, I'd rather just get teleported back up here. Okay, let's see here. I thought the other two were gonna move. Oh, they do! Well, why didn't it move earlier? That's weird. Okay, well, let's tear off the tape here, and then let's go deal with the sidestepper that's down here if it does go down there. Okay. He stomps on the second coin, so we're gonna wait for him to come back. Unless he's gone. Oh, okay, he's gonna run off again. Okay. Well, we're here now, so... Oh, no. Is he gonna be running back and forth in between areas? Yes, he is. Okay, so how do you do this? Middle? No. Is he gonna change no matter where I go? Because I'm not sure how to make him go the other opposite way. Wait, if I go middle... Wait, if I go middle, he might come out one of those. What? Wait, what? Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, this is gonna get annoying, ain't it? Is there any way we could do this? It's like... Yep, there is. Okay. Good thing that this is here. So we need to block off these. And then can they still go through that? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Now it's stuck in the side. Smack it in the face. And there we go. Okay. I was kind of confused what I was doing there, but I think I understand it now. A red gem that belongs to the Water Elemental. Okay. I didn't see that the, um... That these could even fall in the first place, honestly. Like... Honestly, that doesn't even look like it would fall in the beginning. And I just got lucky there. Okay, well, that was easy, I guess. Is that all we're doing? Is, um, solving small puzzles? Because that wasn't that hard, honestly. Well, throw this gem into this guy's mouth. Why, oh, it looks so sad. Maybe a little present will cheer it up. Yep, here you go. Here's your little red jewel. Hopefully this is what we needed to do, and it's not like you put the red side on right and put left side on or blue side on red. Like, he had to, like, mix them both. So this was a mixture between the earth and the water puzzles. Okay. Although not exactly, but... Kinda, in a way. Hooray! The earth found Mental's face is back together. Just look at the happy smile. Hmm. He does look happy, I guess. I'm not sure how else it would look, but... Well, that one's done. That wasn't that hard. Well, where else do we go? Wow, we're really high up now, weren't the? We barely even went up. But I I guess that makes sense, I guess. I'm not even sure now. Well, higher up we go. Not sure where we're going, but... Um, honestly... Ooh, hey, Toads. Um, wait a minute. Is that tape? Whoa, why are the Toads stuck to the side of the tower? I don't see anything holding them against the wall. How are they staying up? You don't see that? Hmm. On closer look, these toads look like they seem strapped to the wall with some kind of tape. Poor toads. They're stuck in such um, unflattering positions. I would be so embarrassed. Hmm. Okay, so we know what the next enemy is. So the next um, Legion of Stationary is definitely some tape. So how do we fight tape? Um, hmm. And how would the tape work? Because we know how rubber band worked. He threw the stuff onto the uh, floors that the little rubber bands and it would force you into positions. But how would tape work, honestly? Well, it's a staring contest between the ice, ice and fire elementals. Wonder who's gonna win? I'd bet my coins on the ice elemental. Its fangs are so intimidating. Honestly, I think it would be the fire elemental because fire beats ice. But I guess you can go with that, honestly. Its teeth are kind of intimidating, but it looks like we need to get inside its teeth due to the fact that there's the, um, ice flower. I'm not sure if it's a shiny one or not, but it's definitely an ice flower. Let's fix in this hole just in case and get a nice save in just in case as well. Because we need to figure out what we're doing here. Wait a minute. The, um, left side is actually... We're able to go into the left side, actually. Okay, so we need to go through the mouth of the Ice Elemental at some point. Not sure if we one-shot these guys, so I'm not going to try, and I accidentally bashed my toe on them. Little <laughs> little uh, area down here, so let's see here. Can we? I don't think we can jump that. 
Uh oh, side dumpers. Seriously? I didn't want to fight these guys. I don't like fighting the um, enemies like this. Okay, well, let's see here. Um, side these guys forward. And then. Slide these guys. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna throw a th hurl hammer in these guys. Might as well. Or I could just use flashy boots, but honestly, hurl hammer, I have a bunch of these, so. And they're cheaper than the um, flashy boots, so I'm just gonna throw the hurl hammer and just one shot them. And then these guys should go down, but I think the hammer won't one shot them if I just spam A. So at least if we get a nice, I think, is fine. Never mind. Wait a minute. Wait, how do you guys- how'd you guys survive? I swear you only get 12 HP. Or not 12, um, tw I thought you only got 21. Wait a minute. Okay then, strange. Well, I need to push this guy forward one, and then slide him into position. And then... You know what, we're just gonna use a Fire Flower. I literally have a bunch of these, and they have the shiny variants now, so we really don't have to worry about these, so... Let's just throw on some of these and get rid of these guys, because that should have... I don't even know how they were even on the ice in the first place, if I'll be honest. I thought I would see him before he would just ram at me like he did. Oh, so that's how you get over here. Let's make sure to get rid of him so I don't have to fight him. Oh yeah, we have to go up the stairs instead of going up the ice slope. Okay, let's see here. So this is going to refresh. I'm 100% right. Oh wait, there's a big hole in here. Let's fix this up just in case, because you never know. Maybe it's hiding something. Nope, not hiding anything. Okay, so this is literally just a refresh. So we need to go left then. And it looks like an ice sheet puzzle. Okay. Wait, there's two of them actually. Wait a minute. Here. Here. We need to hit off this, and then we need to hit off the, uh, right. So, hit here. No, shoot. Wait a minute, we can still do it. If we hit it diagonally, we can. As long as we're standing on the ice, we can. There we go. And push down, and there we go. That one's fixed. Let's fix in this hole so we can use it if we do need to. Wait a minute, this one just goes straight... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we already solved it. Oh, really? That was that? That's how easy this one was? Oh, okay. I was expecting a much harder puzzle. Okay, well, GG. Not bad at all. These puzzles are actually very easy. Huh, okay. I, I'll i take it. It's a nice change of pace. Okay, let's see here. Fire puzzle again. Just like the original Fire Elemental. Is this one of the ones that you have to do it in the right order? Yeah, it is. Ooh. So this came back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna forget this. This one. Nope. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Is it gonna be the same pattern every time? Or no, it ain't, is it? Oh, wait, they're, they're staying on this time. Okay, I think I got it this time, so hopefully I don't mess this up. This one, 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 nope. It was left. Okay, then, um, this is gonna be unfortunate. I think this is gonna take me at least- wait a minute, it changed again. Uh-huh. Okay, there's no way I didn't get it this time. Okay. So this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, 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 this one. I'm just jumping for it. I'm out. I'm not even going to try and bother with the middle one. Whew. Okay. There we go. No feel for me, I'm not taking the uh, middle path, because I'm pretty sure it jumped, uh, the middle one did line up, but I'm not even going to try it. Hopefully we don't have to get that exactly, so let's see here. What are we doing here? 
grab this. No, grab the string. Pull it down? What are we doing? Oh, we're turning on the fire elemental's little fire. And then it opens up the path for the next area. Okay. Oh, ho, the ice elemental is grinning. But I couldn't bear it. The fire elemental wins this one. That's what I was thinking, because literally <laughs> all it needed to do was burn the uh, teeth, because the teeth were very obviously able to be broken at some point. Oh, you can hit it again. I didn't know you could smack it with your hammer. Okay. Well, I do know that if these guys throw their um, little fire slash ice walls at you, they won't actually um, force you to attack them, but they will do 16 damage out of um, um, like out of uh, battle damage, which can be devastating if you're not paying attention and you get hit a couple times, but honestly, they're not that bad. Much better than getting smacked by a Koopa Troop, if I'll be honest. That's a lot of toads. Wow. Okay, then. Can I go left? No, I can't. I thought I could walk on that side uh, railing. Uh oh Hammer bro. Let's be careful, because I don't think we have to fight him if we don't have to. See, I was right. We can slide right past him, save some time, and get higher up here. Wow, there's so many of them. Uh oh Sledge. <laughs> nice try there, Sledgy boy. You gotta try harder than that if you want to hit me. Hmm. Do you think we're already at the top? I have a feeling we are. Well, let's go higher up the tower then. Not sure how we're gonna fight this tape monster though. Wow! That's it? This place was a lot shorter than the last dungeon for um the last streamer. Wow, okay. I thought it was gonna be more like how hole punches where it would have took me like a whole episode to go through. This didn't take me that long. Hey, we reached the top. Wow, look at how high up we are. Hmm. Yeah, we are pretty high up. And look what else is up here. We finally found the end of the purple streamer. Wait a minute, there's a little bit more here. Wait a minute. But how are we supposed to get up there and smash this bowl? Okay, so we're not exactly done. We need to figure out how to... Get over there? Wait a minute. Well, maybe we have to fight something. Who could be talking? Maybe the tape boss? Hey, I'm ele elevating here. Oh, yep, I was. Okay, so it is tape. Huh. The shifty sticker. Tape. Okay. How do you fight tape? Yo, Mario. I got a message for you. From the boss. How about you come over here so I can give it to you? And you, Origami Kid, be a good goyle and run back to Ollie. It's past your Betty time. Capiche. And you two are gonna try and take this streamer out of the picture, eh? I come in strips too, you know. You got a grudge with it, things that wrap over other things. You think I'm some kind of joke, eh? Um, guess we know who stuck those totes to the tower now. Yeah, we do. Sheesh, how do, did all these harmless origami making totes end up with um, such a tacky personalities? Hey, I'm not tacky. I'm sticky, that's it. You want a piece of me. Well, you're gonna get it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how you fight a tape dispenser, so... It has a hard cover, so I'm guessing maybe a hammer would be the best case scenario first, maybe? <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna be a good, fun one. Come on, you two. Throw your best attacks at me. Well, we'll see what sticks. Okay. So, how is this gonna work? Don't see any, um, elemental symbols anywhere. So I'm guessing that's probably not it. So, first off's first. I wanna make sure we can get this, maybe? And then... Let's see here. Slide the, um, hint in front of us as well. Just so we can know what to do. And then throw the attack as well. I have a feeling that maybe we wanna use our hammer, just in case. So let's open up the treasure chest. Okay, so there was stuff hiding in there. Hey, why are there so many panels hiding in the chest? Yeah, that is strange. Hey, don't go messing up my hard work. You gotta tidy up, you know. Can't leave no evidence. Hmm? Okay. Very strange that that's in there. Hit the tape dispenser with your hammer to break it. Okay, good to know. 
So let's go Flashy Hammer, since we know that's our strongest hammer we have. Other than the Legendary one, but I don't want to waste that yet, because I don't know if I can get more of them. 28 damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. How does this gonna work? I didn't time that correctly, but 20 damage isn't that bad. Hmm. So what do we want to do here, exactly? I see Fire of Elemental symbol, but I'm not sure exactly sure what we want to do there. Um, let's see here. Times 2 damage. And then... A second move, maybe? And then... This. That seems like a good turn. Do as much as we can in one turn. So we'll get the double damage and get to hit it two times with the hammer. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to get rid of the tape dispenser, but honestly, who knows? Let's just try and get rid of this as fast as possible. Ooh. Wait a minute. Do we have to break both sides of it? I have a feeling yes, we do. The side's as busted as it's gonna get. We need to hit the different spots. Okay. Well, second half is done. Ow. That didn't even guard it. Wait, can you not guard his attacks? Also, he's already half health out of the way, actually. Wait a minute. So let's see here. So we go left, and then... Let's do... Hmm. One of these? No, wait a minute. We need the attack in the front. One of these. And then... Let's turn on the on switch so we can have that down and ready for when we do need to use anything that is a elemental symbol or thousandfold arms just in case. So we need to get to this side. Hit the tape dispenser on the, all four sides to smash the whole thing. Four sides? Wait. What? How are we going to hit it on four sides? That Literally hitting it on the other side um, got rid of the entirety of it. What? Okay. You sure not on both sides? Unless you do have to hit it multiple spots, but I don't see how that can be the case. Well, he's definitely down for pretty much most of it. Oh, you can block it. Okay, I just timed it wrong. Okay. Not sure when to use the symbols, though. Not yet, at least. Let's see here. This one's going to go forward, and then it's going to go right. It, right into a times 2 damage, and then... Actually, that's perfect. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, it ain't. Let's see here. I want to make sure we're doing this correctly. Because we want to still hit it right there. But I'm not sure if that hits me directly where I want to be, though. So let's go here. No, wait. A little bit further. Nope, not there either. Nope, not there either. Okay, let's see here. Um... Maybe here? No. Times two damage. And then we want to attack it. Let's just go straight for that. That seems like a good idea, just in case. So we're just going to go straight down there. Just so we can attack the case and get rid of it. And we got two times damage now, so let's go for the case and get rid of the other half of this thing. And that should get rid of the rest of this, um, what we're dealing with here. Oh, wait a minute. It is attacking on all sides. Okay. Ow. That only did 8 damage. That's not bad at all. Okay. So, let's see here. We just need to hit the top side now. On that little top top left side, I think. So, let's see here. Um, this is going to go right. No, nope, that's not what we want. No, wait. Let's see here. Let's do this. No. A little bit more. No. I'm making sure that we get the right pattern. So let's see here. Um, we want to go... We want to go right a little bit. And then it's going to go there. And then... Wait a minute. Let me make sure we're doing this right. So let's see here. So if I go here... Move it there... Go there. Ooh, wait a minute. Shoot. I didn't mean to cancel that. Okay, wait. Throw... Which one was it? It was this one. Throw this one here. That one's gonna take me there. Wait a minute. I need to see what we're doing here. Um, cheer the toads on for a second. 
give them as many coins as possible. I want to make sure we're going to where I'm trying to go. And maybe they might do something for me as well. Like, maybe heal me and maybe fix some of the positioning a little bit. Okay, let's see here. So we got that there. That's going to lead there. Then we want to go there, maybe? Get this out of position. No, wait. I'm trying to get there perfectly, but I don't think there's a possibility of us hitting directly there. I'm wondering if I hit it right here, if it'll count. That's why I wasn't too sure. So let's try hitting it here and see if it counts. Hopefully hitting right here will count for the other side of this part of the tape. I don't think it will, but you never know, honestly. It's worth a shot. Okay, it does. Okay. Whoa. Wait, is it already over? Oh. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> oh, it's not over yet. Okay, so we're done with the first stage. Wait, we didn't finish it off. You two got to some no no Navive. Wait, what? You two got some Nav. Busting up my precious tailor-made dispenser like that. It was worth a fortune, not to mention the sent sentimental va value. You speak weird, don't you? If that's how you want it, want it, I might as well dispense with the pleasantries. Time to seal the deal. <laughs> eh? Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Eh? See what you made me do. You got me breaking out the doity tricks. Alright, let's wrap this up, eh? <laughs> eh? Whoa, this thing is out of control. It's no good cheating gangster. Hey, I'm attacking over here. Eh? Okay. Oh, it's got its whole health bar back. Hey, look at me. I'm on a roll. Eh? Roll out. Okay. It's taping up the floor. Okay, then. How does that work, exactly? Now that's what I call a stick-up. <laughs> yeah? It taped up those panels. That's, hmm, that's not very intimidating. What do you mean? I'm not even sure what the tape actually does, to be honest. I'm going to throw in some coins for the toads, mostly because I have a feeling that maybe the tape stops my movement, but I'm not entirely sure though, unless maybe it tapes down the panels completely that are in the location. That could be the question. Let's see. Can we move this? No, we can. I stomp in position here, so... Okay, you can't move it up or down. Okay, that's good to know. So, we want to figure out what to do here. So, the first thing's first. We want to... We need to go forward, actually. So, we need to figure out a way to go forward. So, here, maybe? Yeah, that's good. And then... Let's see here. Do we attack it, or do we... What do we do here? I'm gonna try Fire Elementaling it. It's worth a shot, honestly, you know what? There's a reason why it's on the board, so... Honestly, I can see it working. So let's see. The strips of tape stuck to the ground are vulnerable to fire. Okay, so I was right to go to the Fire Elemental symbol. Okay, Mario's turn. Let's do this. Fire Elemental. Turn it on. Maybe if we burn it, we can get a free attack on it. You never know. It might be the case. Okay, let's see here. So how is this going to work? So all we know is it's going to burn the tape off the floor. And it's also going to damage him for 20 damage. Not bad. Of course, we can just burn that sticky tape away. Nice work, Mario. Yeah, that was pretty good. Although, I'm pretty sure you could just place more. Ow! That's some damage. Okay. Well, 20 damage wasn't that bad. Okay, so we want to make sure to get rid of the tape as much as possible. So he's only blocking off the top section from being moved around for the most part. I'm pretty sure none of them can move. Yeah, none of them can move, so we can't turn. So we only can turn. So let's see here. 
So this goes up, and then it goes to the right, and then, let's see here. So we want to get to the movement panel. That's where we want to go. So if we move this to the right. No, wait. If we move this one here, let me see. Goes right, goes up, goes left, goes up. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, and that's all we can really do here. So honestly, we're just going to go with that. That's definitely a good one, or at least I think it is. Use thousandfold arms to grab the tape by its end and yank it all out. Oh, okay. So if we position our thousandfold arms right on the front of it, we can pull it. Okay, good to know. Um, let's see here. Let's go flashy hammer, maybe? I think we can attack it. So let's try that. Wait for it to get an excellent, and I missed it completely. Oops. Should have just went for the fire. Ow! Okay, I was trying to dodge that, but guess that's not happening. Okay, he's rolling out again, so he's blocking off more panels, which is very bad. Okay, it's basically the same, though. Okay. I think. Let's see here. Move right. I'm pretty sure the tape blocks us from moving. I'm going to use the toads again, just to make sure. Because I'm pretty sure that's what that does if um you walk on the tape twice. Because of the fact that we were watching it earlier. Ooh, flashy hammer. Thank you, Toad. And thank you for the nice big 100 heal. That's always good. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no, you still can walk over it. Okay, I was wrong. So, let's see here. Um. We want to try and pull it out. So, let's do it like this. Yeah, right? No. Does it happen to be in specific position? Because honestly, I'm not sure. Could be, but I'm not entirely sure, though. Maybe if we do one of these. Oh, no, we can't pull it. Okay, that's unfortunate. So maybe we want... So let's do it like this. I have a feeling we could still grab it from this position. I'm just being very careful and cautious about it. So, that should work, I think. So, let's go with that. I'm gonna say that's probably good. Let's see here. Any more notes? Use Thousand Volt Arms? We already know that. Okay. Well, hopefully we can grab it from this angle. I'm not entirely sure, but it's worth a shot. So, throw out the Thousand Volt Arms. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be moving when I try and grab him, so let's be careful on making sure we can get a nice grab on him, lift him up in the air, and bash him onto the ground. And now we got his tape. Mario, now it's time! Start pulling! Okay, spam A as fast as possible. There we go, we got a good chunk of his health out. Okay, not bad, not bad. Get ready to block this time. Oh, so that's why he does so much damage. He's hitting us with the um, tape cutter on the end of his little tape roll. Okay. He only blocked off two sections, I think. Nobody's going for three. Maybe four. Nope, only three. This doesn't look that bad, I think. Let's see here. We're moving forward. So we want to... Let's see here. Move right. Wait a minute. No, we don't. We want to move like this. We want this in front of us. And then we want to go... Oh, we don't have thousandfold arms. Wait a minute. So we want to go here. Then we're going to go around. Wait a minute. Maybe we can make it better. We can go there. Grab that. And then it's going to go up anyways. Okay, I think this is unfortunate. And I don't think we can do really much here. So, I think the best thing we can do for this turn is just going to turn on the on switch and getting the um, treasure chest open. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what happened to my... Oh, shoot. I didn't notice, I forgot that the um, top panel and the, the both the top panels were um, following each other. I didn't notice that. Oops. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's see here. So let's see, what do we do here? We want to make sure that we can at least get the treasure chest. So that's good. 
We have the on switch on, I think. We want to go right. No, we don't. We want to go... Where's the best positioning here? This here, maybe? No, wait. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Um, and this is, whole thing is going to change if we move it, so we need to be careful on how we position this. So it's going to go left. We need... That's going to go there. That's going to go up. Let's see here. Maybe we can maybe hit this? Maybe. Um, sure. I'm going to go with that. I think we can still hit it, actually. I'm not entirely sure, though, but it's worth a shot. There we go. We got all those open again. We got one of these. We already know that, but it's good to know. Let's move this way. I think this leads into... No, it doesn't. Oh, no. No, it does. It does lead into an attack. Okay, good. We still got some attacks in. So, let's go f um, Flashy Hammer. Get a nice big hit on him. As much as we can get, honestly. Three damage is not that good. Oof. Okay. Well, ow. Well, we still have full health, so that's not that bad. He's gonna roll out again. I think every time he uses roll out, he uses some of his HP as well. So it gets rid of a lot of his health by him doing that. So that's actually not that bad. Although he is taping up a big section of the map. Uh oh, he's doing something now. What is he doing? Not sure what to do here. So... There's a big section of the map, though, that we have to deal with. So, let's see here. We can go up. That's going up way too much, though, ain't it? But we can move this into position, meaning that we can get that down. So let's do that. And then... Oh, shoot, that's way too much movement. Okay, don't do that. We really need to burn the tape, though. There's way too much on the floor right now. So let's get as much damage as we can on the tape. And make it so maybe if we burn the tape, he won't be able to regen the health as well. So that'll also be good. I'm not sure if this is going to save us, though, from whatever this big attack he's about to do. But as long as we can get all this tape off the field, I think that's a good idea. Wait a minute, he stopped doing his attack, so maybe that was a good idea. Okay, cool. We actually got rid of that attack then. Okay, so now he has very little he could do now, since he does not have any tape on the floor. So that means we can literally move this in the positions we want. So we want... Let's see here. Um, let's see. I want to do it perfectly, so... Let's pull this forward. I think. That would make sense. And then... Trying to get the best position here. We don't want this moving us, so we need to move this as well. Shoot, there's that as well. Shoot. Times two damage, maybe? I don't know. Let me see here. I'm trying to get the um, thousandfold arms in our movement pattern, but based on how it's positioned, it's not really helping us here, is it? Cancel everything. Um, move this forward, I think. And then... Let's see here. That looks good, I think. Move this into position as well. No, wait. I need, I either need to cheer this so I can see where I'm moving, because I'm kind of not for fully getting the movement here as well, if I'll be honest. So let's give the Toads what they want. Then also give me a heal, because we are kind of low on health. Or low, lower than I want to be, honestly. Um... Let me buy some more time as well, because now that we have the that, I want to make sure that we're moving in the right way. So let's add some more seconds to that. Um, let's see here. So we want the on switch for sure, right? So we want that in front of us. Let's move that there. No, wait. No, not like that. Let's move this here. Keep going. We can get good. We can get a, like a really good movement here. There maybe, and then no, wait. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Um, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong here. If this wasn't here, this would be easy. No, 
That's not it either. We need the on switch in front of us, though. That's 100%. We need this here. And then... We need this out of our way, but... If we use Thousand Fold Arms, does it count? I'm not sure if it counts or not. Does he have to be facing us or not? You know what, we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. Maybe if I just use it, he'll face towards me. It's always a- it's always a chance. He does, okay, so I didn't even need to make sure to face him towards me. Okay, so I was thinking too hard on this. Okay, won't lift him up in the air. And this should be done and over, because he's got little to no tape left. So just pull on every single little bit of the tape left, and GG. If I knew that I could use it on any position, I think this would have been a lot easier. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't notice that you can do it in any position. Ah, oh, it hoits, it hoits. Uh, don't do this to me. I'm changed adhesive. I won't stick nobody up no more, I swear. Boss Ollie, you gotta do something. You gotta avenge me, I'm, I'm... Eh, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, tape's gone. Why well, he wasn't that bad. Let's see here, so... If the tape's gone, does that mean, yep, all the other toads are down for the counts? That's a lot of toads we just saved. Wonder if that counts or not. Probably not, though. Well, purple streamer's down. That was fast. Alright, we can reach the streamer now. Mario, you know what to do. Yeah, we do. So, press X here. Pull out our hands. Go right up to the streamer and bash it in a couple times until it can't feel no more. And forget about that purple streamer. Because it's out of the way. There's only one more streamer left. The green streamer. And that means we only got two more areas left. The, what would be the next streamer location, and then going inside Princess Peach's castle together, or in general. Hopefully by the time we get to Princess Peach's castle, we'll see Luigi again. And hopefully this time he has the key for the place? I'm honestly not sure if he will have it. We probably have to find that too, honestly. Congratulations, purple streamer is cleared. Not bad. And a max confetti upgrade as well. Although I still don't see the reason of ever needing to upgrade this thing. But thanks, I guess. I I guess. I'm not honestly sure what to say. Because I never really had problems with um, streamers. Or not streamers, uh, confetti. Hooray! Now there's just one streamer left. And we can see it, actually. We didn't see it before because there was wind in the- Or, not wind, um, clouds in the way. I don't think we've seen, seen the last one yet, have we? It could be anywhere. Do we even know what color it is? We took down the red one, then the blue one, then the... Well, there it is. Huh. Has the green streamer been there this whole time? Well, technically, there was a cloud in front of it, I'm pretty sure. It goes up and up and gosh. It's going up in the clouds. Wait, what the... How in the world are we supposed to follow that? I can't float up that high. And it looks way too high to jump, even for you, Mario. Looks like Mario's reading something, so I'm pretty sure this is going to tell us how to get up there. Maybe there's some kind of hint up here. Wishful thinking, but you never know. Hmm. I have a feeling Mario is reading what we need to check, so let's look down. Let four fold into one and point you toward the pa pa paradise. Okay. Well, let's see here. This one's ice, or so... I'm guessing it's going to tell us which ones to use. So this one's Ice Velemental. So I'm guessing we need to use every single, single Velemental power as of what we got so far to hit all four buttons because there was a button on this one. So it would make sense if there was a button on all of them. And it looks like we can actually skip these from now on. That's actually really good. That saves us some mega time, honestly, because we already know what's going to happen. So there we go. That's one. Now we just need to do the other three. So ice one down. Let's see here. I'm guessing this one is... Earth. Okay. So we need to use the Earth Elemental's power. And that'll dr drop that little rock platform down. So we can go hit that with our hammer. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do another two skips to make sure we can get through this as fast as possible. Save some time. Since we already know what it's basically doing. Okay. That's down for the count. Now we just got two more to do. Sorry if there's nothing I can really say about this. 
we already know what's basically going on. We're just positioning all these into position and doing something. Not sure exactly what, but this one is Water of Elemental because of- Shoot. That was completely on accident. Cancel that, please. Please cancel it and don't make me have to use Earth Elemental twice. Because that is not what I was trying to do. Please cancel. Thank you. Whew. Okay, for a second I thought I was going to force it because um, back at the pow um, the trial of courage, power, and wisdom, I accidentally used the Earth Elemental on one of them, and you actually had to use um, you had to use Earth Elemental again to drop the tower, and I did it on complete accident. So there we go. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about having to go through the like four animations. Okay. Well, there we go. Er Technically, we went through three, but it's less bad than it could have been. Because I would have had to use Earth Elemental again to drop the platform, and then I had to use Water Elemental to do what we actually needed to do in the first place. Okay, Fire Elemental, because this is frozen solid. It would make 100% sense. So let's melt that, and we're all done here. Or at least, almost. We just gotta hit the last button to position it. But I'm not exactly sure what this is going to do, but I guess we'll find out very shortly. I'm guessing, based on what that said, it's going to lead us to paradise, so maybe it is, it's going to make a new platform for us? Maybe it'll float up like the other ones. Maybe. A giant pillar of light. Okay. That light, it's going pow, right through the clouds. Yeah, it is. The light! The light is calling to us! Okay, I'm guessing the light can raise us into the sky, maybe. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not entirely sure that's gonna be the thing, but let's try. Oh! I guess that's exactly how we're going up. Okay, well, into the air we go. Well, that's a lot easier to get into the green streamer. Well, how are we gonna get back down, though? Maybe there's a pipe up here. There, there might be, honestly. That would save us, honestly, because if there's no way to get back down, that would be really bad. Shangri-La Spa. Oh, so I was right. There is a spa somewhere around here. So this is the where the toad statues were from, because it did say Shangri-La Spa toad statues on the collectible treasure. So I wasn't right on it being the tower, but I was right on it leading to it. Okay, that's good. Um, what is this place? Where are we? It seems like we're pretty high up, but it's too cloudy to see much. Yeah, it is. Hey, there's the screen streamer. It's just kind of trails off into the clouds. Should we try seeing where it leads? Yeah, sure. Let's just follow the streamer then. It would make sense, honestly. Let's see where we're going. I'm guessing Shangri-La Spa? Ooh, it is. Wait a minute. Is that a full white toad? I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Paradise found. Huh. Paradise found indeed. What is this exactly? Oh yes, we found paradise. Do you know what that means? Because I don't, but I'm excited. It sounds fun. Hmm. I guess it does. I don't know. What is this place, and why did we have to do so many trials just to get here? Very strange. Okay, well, I guess we just go in the front door, maybe? Let's make sure there's nothing hidden around here. Maybe there's like a hidden toad or something. Uh, I don't see any, so I guess just go in the front door, I guess. Hmm. It really is a pure white toad. What the? That's different. I've never seen a pure white toad before. Huh. Welcome. Welcome to Shangri-La Spa. Huh. Well, I guess we're welcome. Shangri-La Spa. That sounds amazing. So, what does it mean? Shangri-La kind of sounds like angry, but these toads don't look angry. They're almost too calm. It sure is mysterious. Also, why is the, um, Captain Toad's, um, uh, like a model of Captain Toad's little submarine here? That's weird. Let's talk to this toad. Hey, look at that, Mario. It's a Super Marino toy. Uh, toy? Super Marino, not at all. This is a replica of Spa Marino, a submarine we use to escort our guests to the Diamond Island Trails. Oh, 
That's weird why they have this exact replica. I actually have quite a lot more to say about it. Do you want to hear its fascinating history? Sure. You know what? We have time. Oh good, I love telling this story. So according to the legend, our little spa marino was once stolen by the mythical Captain Teod. As sort of ransom, he offered the sub back to the King of Shrooms in exchange for the King's crown. Well, that didn't sit well with the King Shro of Shrooms and major spa enthusiasts. And Shangri-La Spa must be generous tipper. He also liked being king. So, King Shrooms is arranged to have Captain Teod captured and frozen in a block of ice. And what a story, right? Oh, so that's how we got turned into ice. Well, really. Be being stuck in deep freeze must have really made Captain Toad, um, Teod less of a hothead. He seemed nice. Definitely not a king toffler, you know? Hmm. Okay. So that's how we got that. Huh. So these guys have been around for a long time then. Okay. Well, let's check right. Let's see what's going on here, because, ooh, there was something here. Look at that. We have a way to teleport back down to the floor. That's really good. So now we have the fifth area unlocked. So we still have one more warp, warp pipe, and I'm pretty sure the next warp pipe's going to be inside Princess Peach's castle. Or at least outside of it, at least. Um, welcome to Shangri-La Spa, Spa Mario. We're a place for you to rest, reflect, and renew th through the power of the hot springs. Hooray, sign me up. My mind and body could use all, so all of those things. Um, I suggest a donation for admission it is a thousand coins, and it's mandatory. Might I suggest you make it that donation now? Sure, I am the money. Yeah, I can't wait to be refreshed and renewed. I don't know which one I'm looking forward to more. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your services. Oh, and just one last thing. Before you go, we've started a successive uh, soaker campaign. Please take this stamp card with you and visit our hot springs. Hmm? Stamp card? Ooh, that's a reference to Sticker Star, I think. Visit all the hot springs at Shangri-La Spa to fill this out. If you collect the um, stamps from each of the hot springs, we'll give you a special prize. Just remember to get your card stamped each time, and then bring it back to me when you're done. That's it from me. I hope you enjoy Shangri-La Spa. Okay, we will, I guess. Hey, I've been looking forward to the looking forward to something. <laughs> okay, then. Well, let's go left, then, because that's the only other w way we can go. Hmm. Oh, there's a Koopa Troopa up here. Spring of Purification. Effective against rips and tears. Wait, will this heal me? Maybe. Let's try. It sure looks hot. Do you think this is one of the hot springs? It doesn't look very springy. It looks springy to me, but if you really think that, then you really haven't seen a spring before. Ah, uh, how's the temp? I... Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's not the voice we used for them. Um, how's the temp? I don't want to cook in my own shell. Um, why? You're one of Bowser's minions, aren't you? It's awfully nice of him to let you take a spa vacation like this. Hmm, yeah, it is, honestly. Well... That's cool, I guess. We can heal here. What's going with this guy? This is the st uh, stamp booth for, booth for the successive soaker campaign. Collect one of them uh, from each of our hot springs, and you'll get, get a prize. Okay, well, let's stamp this up, then. Let's see. How do we do this? I can't stamp it? Um, what is that coming off of the water, Mario? Smoke, maybe we should take a look. I literally just went in, but okay. What do you want me to do here? Just sit in here? Oh. Okay. So we just had to sit in here. You're so brave, Mario. You just jumped right in with no regard for your own crisp crispness. I am fine. And it seems like you're fine. Maybe even better than fine. But what will happen to me? Will I get soggy? My heart's pounding, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Well, go and try it. Wait, she could take her hat off. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so the hat's not even connected to her. Oh. Yeah, I get it now. Just gonna bliss out for a while. Don't mind me. Okay. It feels so good. So, this is what they meant by refreshing and renewing your mind and body. Bad news, Mario. I only care about hot springs now. Ah. <laughs> ah, indeed. Hot springs aren't that bad, honestly, so let's make sure to get our stamp, though. 
Stamparoo, and that's it, I guess. Okay. Well, ooh! You can get more multiple legendary hammers. Okay, that's really good. That's really good to know. Okay, so I can start using my hammers now. So that's good. So as a way, I know the legendary hammer is stronger, the strongest weapon in the game because that's what it says. And wait, is that Kamek? Wait a minute. There's Kamek behind the um map of this place, I think. Whoa, this view is incredible. We're actually floating in the clouds, Mario. It's so nice, I could almost forget about the green streamer. Oh, darn. I just remembered it. And now it's... Hmm. Wait, Bowser's Castle? Wait a minute. I didn't know Bowser's Castle was in the sky. Huh. Okay, then. And there's also a shop over in that floating rock that's just floating in the sky over there? Why is that? What is that horrible, scary face doing here? Do you think it's part of the spa? It's not renewing my mind or body. Maybe it was thrown- Oh, wait a minute. Maybe Bowser's castle was thrown up here. By something. I'm not sure exactly sure what could have done it, but that would make sense why Kamek's here, because Kamek's literally the one of the most important of the Bowser minions when it comes to Paper Mario games. So, he's definitely here for a reason. Maybe we should ask someone like the Groundskeeper. Excuse us, Mr. Groundskeeper, can you help us? Oh, hey, Kamek. <laughs> so I was right, it was him. Mario, what are you doing here? Uh, sometimes I forget your celebrity. Or do you actually know this Groundskeeper? Um, groundskeeper? I'll have you know, ah, uh, it's not important. As Lord Bow Bowser's number one, I have faced off against this meddling mustachioed Murata more than ta more times than I can count. <laughs> That's for sure. You may have heard of me. I am known as Kamek. Oh, pleased to meet you. My name's Olivia, and Mario and I are both traveling around a bit and trying to stop my brother's evil plan. I'm sorry that I haven't heard of you, Mr. Kamek, but it's very impressive that you're Bowser's number one groundskeeper. <laughs> Poor Kamek, man. <laughs> Poor Kamek. No, that's not it. Um, I'm not... Look, the work I do for Bowser... Ah, uh, thank you. As Lord Bowser's number one groundskeeper, I have some important information for you. He's not even gonna try. <laughs> At least he gave up. Honestly, it's for the best. So Bowser was still folded up. Oh, so Bowser's castle was in the air to begin with. Weird. After escaping in the clown car, Lord Bowser returned to his castle, where I awaited his command. Hmm, so this is going to tell us what happened. And it looks like, oh, that's bad. So Bowser got captured again, and then the folded soldiers took over the castle. And the green streamer is located right inside Bowser's castle. That's good to know, so we just need to get inside. And I'm guessing Bowser's still going to be in there? Wait. Would we have to fight Bowser as a boss? It could make sense, honestly. Can you fold Bowser? Maybe. But just as he arrived, we were overwhelmed by folded soldiers. Bowser was captured again. Hmm. Looks like Kamek got away. So, how did he manage that? Having heroically secreted myself during the attack, I was ready to engage our emergency protocol. But the button I pressed shut off the airship engines. Instead, it wasn't my fault. It was your fault. <laughs> and with the engines off, Bowser's castle plunged straight into the shangri Spa campus. It's a campus? Wait a minute. It's a school? Yeah, right into the banquet hall. Hmm. One must take make a reservation to drop a castle in on our banquet hall. Do you have any idea how far we've booked? Well, I just showed up randomly. I have no choice but to charge a late fee, and an early fee, and an on-time fee, and a cancellation fee, and an appearance fee. And how will you be paying today, blue-robed wizard? Coins, credit, or blood? Sweat and tears of Bowser's many minions. Um, I think the last one. Um, excuse me, robed wizard. Hey, I know you can hear me over here. Uh, never mind. Your fellow minions are already hard at work. So I'll just ta tack on an additional silence fee and leave you to it. Good luck. <laughs> that guy is not happy. 
Well, you hurt the toad. This is the state of Lord Bowser's minions castle in life. Uh, so that scary looking face is just part of Bowser's castle. Uh, and we need to go inside the space to reach the green streamer. You intend to enter Bowser's castle? Very well. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Follow me quickly now. Okay, we'll follow you. So, Kamek's gonna help us out. That's pretty cool. Although, I'm not sure what we're doing here. Wait a minute, there's a rainbow spa on the bottom. I saw that for a second. So yeah, all the all of them are cleaning this place up. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna probably save here. And do I have to exactly run off that way? I don't want to do it just yet because... Oh no, we do. Okay, well... I was going to try and go over to the shop and try and find a way over there, but I don't know how to get up there, so I'm just going to save it off here. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And this place is small, isn't it? Shangri-La Spa is very small. Okay, then. That's actually really good, so we're going to be able to get to the green streamer, like, right away, then. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls, and... See y'all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls. Thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.